Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to be unboxing the brand new helium compatible weather XM weather sensor. So you might have seen a previous video that I did on the unboxing of the original weather XM weather station. So this one is supposed to be compatible with helium. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Let's go. So the first thing in the box is a setup guide which you get with a QR code and you can follow the instructions on there step by step on how to set this weather station up which is great. So first of all, this is what you get in the box as it comes. So I'm just going to take each component out at a time just to show you what they are. So first up, this is the sensor itself. Um, now on initial impression, that's quite a different design from the original Weather XM sensor. For starters, these uh, wind vanes right here were actually on the bottom of the unit over here and they're actually located on the top and already installed so you don't actually fit those. Um, you've got the solar panel on here now originally that was just built into the top with this one it looks like it's on a pivot so you could probably position it uh, depending on how how you've got it installed so that's interesting. You've still got the battery compartment just on the bottom here which is where your batteries will go in and we'll take that off in a second and have a look and on this side you've got the rain sensor here and it comes with this in the box as well so I presume to fit this you just basically place it on there and then just turn it and that's it it's quite snug in place so that's what it looks like so you've got the rain sensor right there other things to note is well there's a level spirit level just here and you can see when you install it that that's going to be dead center of the bubble just here and obviously when you're mounting it on whatever pole or whatever you're going to use um, this needs to be pointing towards north and it's got an indicator right here. So I'm just going to take the battery compartment off just to have a look. Okay, so that's the battery cover just off. It's just a single screw on there. And as you can see there, it takes three AA batteries. My advice is if you're going to be installing batteries in here, then please use lithium iron ones. They're a bit more expensive, but they're supposed to be quite good for handling extremes of weather and uh, drops in temperature. So go with lithium batteries when you install them in here. Next thing I've seen in there is some mounting solutions. So you've got a base there and then a pole which fits right in there. You've also got a bracket on the side just here which will go along there and you can connect this to the sensor. Now when you're mounting it, it will probably go in here. There is two screws here with a mount, so once you loosen them, it should be able to fit nice and snug into there. You also get a few more screws as well for the mounting bits. And you get a couple of metal ties as well. Now here's something interesting that comes in the box. This looks like some kind of a, an expandable battery pack. It takes six AA batteries. And I presume the way this fits is, they've got a little kind of template that's cut out here. It'll just go in here as such. And then it's got a, a separate lid just for this as well. And that'll go up on there and tighten in as well. So that must be if you need an extra battery pack, maybe for remote use perhaps. Not really sure about that one. But that comes in the box as well. So there you go, savages. That's everything that comes in the box for this helium compatible weather XM sensor. So you've got the sensor itself with the, uh, the weather vanes and the rain sensor on there. You've got the external battery pack, which comes in here. And then you get the mounting solution with the mounts, the poles and the screws as well. So anyway, there you go, savages. Just wanted to do a quick unboxing video of the weather XM helium compatible sensor. So I haven't actually got it installed just yet. Just wanted to do a quick unboxing video for you savages. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you savages on the next one.